You want to know why you're so sad in your toxic relationship? You are so sad because you are dating an emotionally immature man. And no, I couldn't be because you're toxic yourself, right? And you need to understand that emotionally immature men are unable to take accountability for their mistakes. It's always a one-sided fight where they are right and you are wrong. Why are you in a relationship with an emotionally uh, unavailable or immature man to begin with? What does that say about you? And they can never see your viewpoint on things. So you need to understand that this type of relationship becomes draining. And it they can never see your viewpoint or you can't do exactly what you want to do. And they're not agreeing with everything that you say. They're challenging your logic. Could that be it? If your partner is emotionally immature, you'll always have a childlike relationship with that person. And many men are just children in adult bodies, unwilling to grow and unwilling to evolve. So what I learned is that you need to save your heart. For oh, there it is. What I learned. See, again, this is just another video of a woman having a personal experience and getting on here, making a video and trying to tell, uh, give women advice from it. Ladies, follow your own path. Have your own uh, distinctive thought. Don't follow this type of manipulation because the truth is women like to see other women single. And I know you're like, oh, hell no, that's not true. But it is because women are highly jealous, highly envious of other women. Let that sink in. A lot of this advice that you hear is not coming from a place of them caring about you. You need to wake up to that, guys. Come on now. There's someone that chooses you and chooses to grow with you. You want to know why you're... See, and another thing, imagine being in a relationship with this young lady right here. You can't even get a word in edgewise. She is talking so fast. You can tell she's very domineering. And just from what she has on, she's leading with her sexuality. I'm sorry. I'm just going to call it what it is. I'm going to call a spade a spade. Do you really need to be showing off all that cleavage and all that skin just to put out a message? You're just using your sexuality to lead other women. And then other women will see this and say, you know what? Let me show all my skin. Let me show all my cleavage because it's working for her. She's an attractive girl. She must be telling the truth. That right there is an L. For any man that's looking to take her seriously, that alone is an L. You guys, I'm telling you, don't fall for all this crazy information, so-called help that you hear from a lot of these women. If you want to know what a man is actually thinking, what a man actually wants, what he actually cares about, ask men. Don't ask disgruntled, brokenhearted, upset self-centered, immature women like her.